Welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be reviewing the Salus Digital Smart Thermostat. We have EVE Smart TRVs on all of our radiators. Smart TRVs cannot call for heat. What I mean for calling for heat is that if you have an oil boiler, a gas boiler or an air source heat pump like we do, the TRV has to request heat from that source. Since the EVE Smart TRVs are Bluetooth, they don't have the ability to call for heat. In order to do that, you need to have a smart thermostat that is connected directly to your control panel for your heating system. We have underfloor heating throughout the bulk of the house downstairs, but we have got rooms in the northern portion of the house that are obviously the coldest, and they have their own heating schedules. They are also located quite far from our utility room where our control panel is for our heating system. We tried a number of different things to get them to work. We had uh, radio frequency operated thermostats, but the issue that we face is that we've got a lot of thick brick walls that separate those rooms from the utility room and the signal simply wasn't getting through. To get around that, we purchased the Salus Smart Digital Thermostat that is operated via Wi-Fi. What's most appealing about the Salus is that you don't have to wire the power source to them. They are battery operated. So the installation from that perspective is really, really simple. In order to, to bring the whole thing together, you do have to buy a gateway and that gateway is connected to your router. That gateway allows all of your smart digital thermostats to be able to communicate with one another and to get their signal back to the control panel. You do, however, require professional installation in order to get the final unit to wire in to your heating system. That was done for us by our air source heat pump installation team. Once they're on the Wi-Fi, you download the app onto your phone and then you can create heating schedules. What we did is we created a heating schedule on each of our smart thermostats to correspond to the smart TRV. So if we take our TV room as an example, We've got our economy base temperature set to 19 degrees in that room and we pick that temperature up to 21 degrees at 5 o'clock every evening so that by the time we go into that room uh, we've got a nice snug cozy environment. We therefore created a corresponding schedule for the digital thermostat and the smart TRV. What then happens is if the temperature in the TV room drops to below 19 degrees to let's say 18 degrees the digital thermostat will call for heat from our air source heat pump. Because that temperature has dropped, our smart TRV is also requiring heat. It will therefore open the valve and hot water will flood into the radiator and start to heat the room. Having looked at quite a number of products, the Salus solution offered us the most flexibility. If we had just installed the gateway and the digital thermostats in our TV room, the signal still wouldn't have been strong enough to get back to our utility room. So we purchased a smart plug that basically connects in our hallway, which is the halfway point between the TV room and the utility room. That has allowed us to bolster our Wi-Fi signal between the two points. That is the Salus digital thermostat. You don't have to have the app in order to operate it. You can program them manually. It is just obviously a lot more work to try and do that and it can be a bit fiddly. I'm not even going to try and do it here because I'll just show you how much easier it is to do on the app. You can walk into a room if it is too cold and manually turn it up. Uh, at this stage it's set to be at 19 degrees for this particular room. So you could just do that and then you press OK. This room however is at 21 and a half degrees today. Uh, it is quite warm outside so there's no need for us to change or fiddle with those temperatures. This is our little IT nerve center in our house. Uh, that is our router along with a switch and our heat miser gateway, which we'll discuss in a later video. And the one to the left, the white one, that is the universal gateway for the Salus thermostats. That's what is connected directly to our router, which gives it internet access. And that gives us the Wi-Fi ability to connect to it and to be able to set the heating schedules using the app on the various digital thermostats. Lastly, this is the receiver that is in our utility room. This is the unit that gets the signal from the various digital thermostats 
and actually requests the heat when they are requesting heat from a particular room that red light goes green that means that the air source heat pump has been activated and that one of our zones is, is going to get heated that is all wired in to our air source heat pump unit which is over here that basically shows our entire setup when it comes to the Salus digital thermostats. Now we're going to take a quick look at the Salus app. We're going to take a look at the app on our iPad. The features on the iPhone are exactly the same, but it's just a lot easier for us to show and demonstrate things on the iPad screen. So as explained, we have two smart digital thermostats. We've got one smart plug and we've got the control panel in our utility room. The app allows you to take control of all of your devices. As you can see, we've got the Wi-Fi setup, we've got our TV room, we've got our guest bedroom. We go to equipment, all equipment. That shows all of the items that we've got installed. So we've got the boiler receiver, which I've told you about. We've got our smart plug, we've got our TV room downstairs, and we've got the guest bed downstairs. We are going to look at our TV room because that's the most interesting one. This gives you a quick summary of where things are, your firmware, your MAC address, uh, all the various other bits and pieces of information that you might require. And when we scroll down here, we can see our heating schedule. So with most devices that we have seen, there are typically two heating schedules for, for every device. They've got the weekly one from Monday to Friday, and then they've got the weekend one Saturday through Sunday. The reason they've done that is because obviously you are at home on Saturdays and Sundays over the weekend, so you probably require different heating schedules. You probably also want those heating schedules to start a little bit later than they do on a, on a work week. Having a look at ours, we can see that we have got our heating schedule set to an economy temperature of 19 degrees uh, throughout the day in our TV room. At 5 o'clock, we are calling for heat to get that room up to 23 degrees. So when we go into the TV room, it's at a comfortable temperature. At 9.30, the digital thermostat will signal that we are now wanting to drop our temperature. So it will cut the call for heat. And our smart TRVs will accordingly shut the valves and get the temperature down to 19. In order to modify your schedules, you simply go to the little edit button and you can just go through them and change them as you wish we're not reviewing the smart plug but equally so you can create schedules for your smart plug so for example if you've got a light or a lamp that is located near it you can basically schedule it so that the lamp turns on and off at preset times during the day which again helps with efficiency uh, and preserving electricity there isn't anything that you can do with the boiler receiver uh, that is simply just connected. It shows its status, so it's online. So I know that our digital thermostats, when they're online and they are requesting heat, they are able to connect to the boiler receiver and everything works as it should. So I hope that gives you a really good idea of what the Salus digital smart thermostats are all about and how we've utilized them to integrate them into our house. Uh, I can't think of any negative points against them at this stage. They've been easy to install. Uh, they have allowed us to connect to rooms that up until that point had been difficult to heat uh, and to certainly put on heating schedules. So at this stage, these units are highly, highly recommended uh, for solutions such as ours. Uh, and I would imagine if you have a house or areas within your property that require uh, heating and that are having to communicate with your boiler or your air source heat pump that is in a bit of a remote situation, uh, these are definitely something that you should look into because they do work. The fact that you don't have to wire them, the fact that you can move them around is also a massive plus point from our perspective. We'll obviously monitor the battery consumption because they are battery operated, but that is a, a, a minor uh, issue that you might have to deal with even if you have to change the batteries a couple of times a year. The convenience that they offer is, uh, is massive. So we do highly recommend them and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Instagram or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below 
and if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.